What is up y'all, this is Alex from Alex PC Tech again, back at you with another video. And on today's video, we're gonna be unboxing the Audio Technica M30X. So after some research and finding my needs, searching for my needs, I actually came up with the M30X because for a long time now, I've been searching for a dedicated studio headphones to listen on my sound mixing especially on the voice part of my videos and to listen music too as well not only that i'm also looking for a very affordable studio headphones that will not actually break the bank and i found that this one checks all the box for all my needs so as you can see this is the box the box is actually really nice. Before, owning an Audio Technica was actually just a dream for me as I've, I've seen that I won't be using it in anything. But as of now, as we are upgrading the production level of our YouTube videos and also my personal work, I have seen that I really need this headset. So, so we have some manuals here. I think this will be the warranty card. And what we have here is a, oh, it's a nice pouch. So I think it's a pouch that we can use to store the headset when we are traveling. Yeah, oh, look at that. That's actually really nice. It's like a faux leather, fox leather, faux, faux leather, whatever. So nice that it comes with this one although i would have wished that this is a hard case but for 60 dollars as i am buying this because of its price to performance ratio for 60 dollars and as a studio monitoring tool you can't beat the price for this one and now we have the headset itself all right so this is a wired headset because i'm just gonna be using it on my youtube studio and Let's remove the packaging, okay. So this is in the cable. So the cable actually has this three, uh, this 2.5, uh, this jack. I am not sure if we can remove this. Oh yeah. So yeah, design wise from the big jack to the small 3.5 jack, it's, it has this lock. So that's very nice actually not unlike other adapters which only clicks or locks in when you press it down this one actually has a twist mechanism so that's one that's one good design option that they did with this one so let's put this aside because i'm gonna be directly putting this on the computer so i actually need this 3.5 jack oh okay so upon first holding this headset i can see that it's really light so i have reviewed some headsets previously from asus but this one is actually a bit lighter than those okay it has the audio technica badge on the top and i can see that it's not that flexible although there's really no wiggle on this part and on here this side i can see that the plastic is that they used are standard plastic. I'm not sure if this is ABS or something like that, or if the height can be adjusted. For that, we have to check the manual, but all in all, the build quality is actually nice, if you ask me. So that's about it, and on to the first impressions of the headset. So first, impressions about the audio technica m30x is that one is yeah the build quality is actually nice in my opinion maybe one of the weak points that this will have in the long run is on how you adjust the height of the headphones to the headband for example so this metal spot here can be adjusted by lifting it up and down so this might loosen up in the long run, but I, I'm not sure, I don't know, but that can be one weak point. And another thing is that as, even though it's very light, there is really not any wobble because there's actually a design to twist these 
in order for them to conform to your head shape okay so it's actually really nice but other than that there is really no wobble aside from that is since this is a fixed cable so for me that's not really in an issue but for some that might be because some are actually detachable and some can be attachable although these are fixed cables the cable is actually really long it's around three meters actually more than three meters and you don't lose any power or any frequency even though the cable is really long although this is not a braided cable i wish that it was it's really nice it's really long so it can reach wherever i put my cpu or in if ever you're listening in a studio and you need to like distance out with the social distancing thing you can still use this so aside from that is the sound quality so listening through this one and through my sennheiser that actually is a sennheiser earphone and it's actually nice i've been using it to edit my work and to listen to music for quite some time now but changing from that one to this one really has really it's not that mind-blowing but there are some changes i've switched to an audio or a studio headset because i wanted to really clear the voice that is coming out of my videos so i've noticed that when you compare this against the sound of that sennheiser the sound of that one is actually really bright it's like boosted up in the mids to highs so the voice is really a little bit pitchy not unlike here it's like the voices are actually deep and isolated so sometimes on that headset you can i can see that on the background music when i have a really progressive background music the voice can mix us up with that background music with the mids to high pitches but with this one you can actually feel that the voice is in a different or a different channel or no no not a different channel but a different frequency that's one of the change that i immediately notice when it comes to listening through these earphones while trying to edit some videos aside from that it's like changing from if you get me it's like changing from a telecaster a single coil pickup to a humbucker although they're they're both nice the humbucker has a deep and a different quality sound to it okay so aside from that is that i'm hearing that the voices here are you can see that i can really hear the echoes for example if the person that is speaking is in a room that has echo i can really hear that the echo is resonating in this through this headset when i listen to this one but on the earphone i cannot really distinguish if the person is speaking through a mic or a through a big room with a lot of echo so that's actually one benefit of having a studio headset against a you know a standard earphone for editing so for the price i got this one for 60 bucks and that's actually not a bad investment when it comes to audio production if you ask me because this can also be used not only for monitoring but it can still be used for audio production at this as it is like one of the most neutral headsets that you can get in the market that will not break the bank so that would be it for this video i hope you like our content for this week please do subscribe and don't just watch as i'm seeing that all of you are watchers and none of you are subscribers so just subscribe hit that subscribe button it will really like help me you know motivate me to create more videos such as this one and see you on the next video